one of my favorite TV show was Heroes. So if you're a Heroes fan, Hero Nakamura, I remember when he came here. That was my favorite. Something you need to know about our family, we love the movies. So when we got a chance to go to New York and check out some filming locations, we were so excited. For those keeping track, New York is state number 22 for us. New York is very well known for its iconic skyscrapers and its world famous monuments. And the best part, wherever we looked, it was really a filming location. Come join our family as we search all these cool filming locations all throughout New York. Let's go! Welcome back, Rock Crew. Yeah, have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. Movie location time. We are here at the Rockefeller Center. If you saw the TV show on Disney Plus, Hawkeye, this is where he climbed up the tree, the Christmas tree fell over, and then Kate Bishop, she would, she would be right here ice skating, shooting up all those bad guys. And another movie that was filmed here, in this section down there is Home Alone 2. You've seen our Home Alone filming location video before. If you haven't, I'll put it on the end card. It's actually another filming location of Elf. Yes. So yeah. And they so, went ice skating. They went ice skating, and he also dragged them to go see the Christmas tree. To see the I Christmas remember. tree here. Dude, this is my favorite. That was my favorite movie. I love Elf. Not just because I'm short as Elf. Look who we have here. It's Tito Vern from the Pokey Boy production. He was able to take us around New York to all these cool filming locations, and also taking the view of how beautiful New York really is. What is this building? No, it's famous. In the comments below, let me know what this is. We are just tourists. What you got? Um, I got a New York t-shirt and I also got a keychain. Whoa, that's pretty cool. All right, look what I found. Actually, it was Vern that found this. All right, guys, part of Weird and Wacky. Look at this, it's a giant button and a needle. I wonder if this is the world's largest. So it looks like this is a sewing district. Yeah. I didn't know New York was known for sewing. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd go to New York to see a uh, button and a needle. We are at the Empire State Building. We're gonna go upstairs and check out the view. So come join us. Let's go. So here's all the famous movies that's been here. Well, look at this. Yep, they had King Kong. King Kong. Like Wonder Woman in the comic books. Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, that's one of my favorite movies. Meg Ryan is the best. Okay, you have Spider Man. I don't know about Cookie Monster. And a fair to remember. Our next stop is Cat's Deli. We heard so much about this place. You know this place has to be good when the line is this long. Well, here's Tito Vern to explain all about Cat's Deli. So this is the famous Cat's Deli here in New York City. They are well known for their pastrami sandwiches. Now these are not just your ordinary type. They're actually pretty big, good enough for one or two people. I brought the Santos Chronicles crew there and there was already a long line waiting outside the door just to get inside. If you also look through the walls, you see a, a lot of celebrities, local and um, popular ones from Hollywood. They're all aligning the walls and I didn't know when Harry Met Sally actually filmed there so that was good to know and you, you see, you'll actually see the picture there. Oh god. Oh. So we're now in Grand Central Station. Uh, this is where they filmed I Am Legend right here on the outside. This is huge. Oh, it's massive. It goes on the last before. Look at that. Yes, sir. If you guys ever see the Mori Armageddon where the asteroid hits the Grand Central, it was all of this in the Mori scene that it came. The asteroid came and boom, knocked out all of this. So I know Carl must be excited to look at this in person. I actually really like that movie. <laughs> it was a good movie, yeah. So the Chrysler building right up here is a filming location for Ghostbusters. As you can tell, the family loves Ghostbusters. So right here is the New York Public Library on Fifth Avenue, and this is one of the first places they had a supernatural encounter. Other notable TV or movies that was filmed here was Sex in the City, Spider-Man, and the Thomas Crown Affair. 
and before we go to my favorite place, here's the National Museum of the American Indian. This is a filming location for Ghostbusters 2. We couldn't miss going to the Ghostbusters firehouse, so we had Vern take us over there. To be honest with you, it was surreal being right here. I can't believe we're at the location where they filmed Ghostbusters. So this is the famous Ghostbusters building here in New York City. I always drive through it whenever I go. It took the Santos family coming down to New York City for me to actually see it live and in person. There's office space, sleeping quarters and showers on the next floor, and there's a full kitchen on the top level. It just seems a little pricey for a unique fixer-upper opportunity, that's all. And for those of you who don't know, this is an actual firehouse used in the movie Ghostbusters. So this is where they did all their ghost busting activities and I believe they do tours too as well if you give them a call. On your next family vacation, check out these filming locations. It makes the trip so much more fun. And if you're a big filming location fan, check out the Home Alone house. Click the end card below 